Next, let's have Mr. Cheng share with us the current state of the biaxial stretching industry, along with some insights into the technical challenges we are facing. Recently, our industry held a conference in Changzhou. During the meeting, industry colleagues and many partners from our supply chain had in-depth discussions and exchanges. The BOPET industry is indeed facing a significant challenge. Globally, this industry has been growing rapidly, with the fastest growth occurring in mainland China. In recent years, mainland China has developed at an incredible pace, but it has also paid a price for this rapid development. Currently, we are generally facing simultaneous competition, and our market positioning is primarily focused on packaging. In the past, there were some applications in photovoltaic backsheets and higher-end products, but breakthroughs have become rare. This is a major pain point for us at present. The development of the domestic market has reached an astonishing level. By 2024, the production capacity of ballpet films has already reached nearly 8 million tons, while the actual demand is only around 4 million tons. The biggest issue now is that most of the products are standard, with a focus on ordinary products. Due to the severe homogenization, our industry has suddenly made a lot of efforts. For example, our company, along with arbitration bodies and other industry peers, has worked hard to make significant progress. Some products have already begun to replace those from our benchmark companies. We categorize our benchmarks into three tiers. The first tier consists of three Japanese companies, Toyobo, Torei, and Mitsubishi. The second tier is dominated by South Korea's SKC. And the third tier includes relevant companies from Taiwan and mainland China. Through our collective efforts, some products have started to break through. However, last year, we still imported 267,000 tons of products that we could not produce domestically. These products represent a key area for us, both now and in the future. This will be one of the breakthrough points for our entire industry chain, including Mr. Liang's side. It starts from raw materials and equipment support, and together we aim to make progress.